thank you. Thank you for the chance to present our technology. So my name is Hua Pin Li, and the technology is ready to develop some uh, new or uh, well, flexible uh, semiconductor trying to uh, replace their, um, I would like to say, brittle and also um, very hard materials like silicon or gallium oxide. So this is the, my uh, background and also the company is started in 2012 and we're almost staying like six years. So this is the people who also can say is friction or what we are doing. So the top is ready for silicon uh, electronics, bottom is ready is our uh, dream. So we want to uh, making this happen, start from waste gas and then making the carbon tube and then follow the every step of silicon industry to making pure uh, semiconductor carbon tube and then use this very pure semiconductor carbon tube and making into in uh, TFT. So it's a same film transistor and then build it into electronics and then uh, go to consumer uh, electronics. So these are our products. When we have the raw materials uh, produced from carbon uh, monoxide, and also we have um, metallic carbon tube is very pure and with very shining film with uh, shield resistance, uh, less than four ohm per square. So it's very nice materials. And then absorb, uh, absorption is showing these just have metallic species without the semiconductor uh, species. So this graph is just to show you we have metallic tube and the semiconductor tube and the metallic tube. Furthermore, we have very pure single chirality or single diameter carbon tube. There's a couple of different diameter, uh, di uh, diameters and then shows very good uh, uh, properties. We also have film, so we have network and nine uh, nine the films for sale. And uh, these films is uh, can be free stand. This is SEM of the films. And we the problem we are trying to solve. We try to get a very pure carbon tube and then reduce that kernel leakage. This is very important for electronics. And also we try to. Uh, limited the variation of carbon tube because carbon tube uh, you have different materials you have different uh, properties then you will cause different properties. Uh, also can be uh, used um, can be reduce the interaction between the molecule and the molecules. And then the customer we are trying to serve first one is the big one is ready for LCD or for display panel and also for uh, CMOS. Uh, so CMOS and also for flexible and the future are uh, uh, stretchable electronics. The third one is ready for uh, bioimage and the bio sensors. Okay, this is some um, um, uh, device we built and then this device, uh, the, the properties, the device and then it's ready, the device we built is ready very much like a current bench up uh, device, like a amorphosilicon, metal oxide and also polysilicon. Uh, we are trying to get a four million for uh, in first uh, two million for making uh, the reactor and the scale up the reaction. One million for uh, set up or uh, scale up the purification. Another one is really trying to make a good device and surge into the uh, rear display and then uh, basically build up demo and for our customers. Thank you. The company was set up, uh, uh, founded in 2012? Yes. Four, six, six years ago. What's the current uh, sales right now? Uh, we have um, some sales. The sales is majorly for uh, R&D, and also we cooperate with some major uh, display uh, OEMs in China, certain materials. Of course, this is just the cooperation. And um, uh, we just... Sell some raw materials and also some semiconducting materials to our research uh, institute and also some um, small company for research purpose. So our goal is trying to build up demo and then um, transfer this technology and also supply the materials like the Samsung, LG, and the 
possibility for Intel. So what do you, what do you mean? You mean you didn't have too much sales? We you... have sales. Right now, we possibly uh, every year have uh, revenue about um, five uh, hundred thousand US dollar. Yes. Okay. The major comes from uh, the clients or comes from the funding from the government. Oh, we have the funding from government. Um, I almost uh, get uh, over two million dollars from government. And uh, but the, 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 this uh, revenue is ready for sales. Uh, Five hundred thousand is sell the materials. Okay, got you. Thank you. So just quickly, you want to replace either semiconductor wafers, or are you looking at replacing PCBs? Uh, doing flexible substrate approach. Looks like you're doing thin film, uh, transistor uh, substrate. Uh, what is your temperature? What is your manufacturability of this? Um, you know, all these kind of things. I mean, some of these have differing requirements. Some are just physical. Some are, you know, um, electrical or device related. Uh, yeah, so how do you, what's your thinking about how you go about these markets? Oh, yeah. It's very good questions. So uh, we already take a long time for six years and uh, working with uh, these kind of manufacturers in China. And that the device is there and very stable, and every step is followed the industry um, uh, manufacturing process. Uh, the process, so everything is same. Um, we already uh, check out by them, and the properties, as you can see, the curves is really same. So uh, we really want to making the flexible and the stretchable and the wearable device for the future. And I think this is the trend of the future. <laughs>